Culture eats strategy for breakfast, and it's actually the reason that your organization may be failing. How many of us have been in an organization where they had a whole lot of money? They could make things happen. Everything seemed that it was going right on the outside, but people hated it over there. We all have at some point, maybe. If you're lucky, you didn't, but we've all been there. And one of the biggest challenges is that organizations that think strategically and have everything together, right? As far as on paper, they have their plans, they have their vision, they have their goals. Too often, they don't think about what the culture is gonna be within the organization, how employees will interact with one another, how one people will feel about one another. This is the cultural challenge of an organization. And it actually takes a whole lot more effort than you know the business model. The business model is important, but what really is gonna take the organization and you're gonna have people that believe and love your organization to the next level is people that love it because of the culture and what the organization has to offer to them emotionally. And too often, we don't think about that, but studies do show many people will take a pay cut to be in an organization that actually makes them feel good about what they're doing that day. I was once, I was once consulting for an organization that had a million dollar budget, they had everything together, but their culture stank. People hated it there, but they stuck around because of the money was good and that was the only option, but they were failing. They were failing to compete, they were failing to innovate. And it was primarily because there's so many silos in the organization, people didn't get one, get along. Volunteers that they wanted didn't want to even come back because of the, the negative feeling that they got. And they didn't know how to change it. They thought they could just hire a new CEO and hire someone else different, and they're gonna be able to solve all of their problems. But what they really needed to do, and it took, them, it, took me, it took me to convince them many times that they had to do this, they had to bring everyone together from the organization, have a healing circle where they literally talked about their feelings to one another and really shared what are their struggles. And then beyond that, beyond having this healing circle, was actually having an accountability coach for the organization. That means taking people's thoughts, emotions, feelings, and their concerns and actually addressing them over a period of time. It's not gonna change overnight, right? If you think you're gonna change an organization's culture in one day, you're mistaken. It's gonna take a good amount of effort and time and it takes a, and takes a whole lot of trust building on, on the behalf of the organization to really bring that change. So after a year of them having these confessions, talking to one another, having an accountability coach, they were actually able to get uh, where they needed to go. But it, it did take that effort, it did take a long period of time because there were thousands of negative stories that were compiled in this organization and all of that baggage needed to be let go, they need to be, it, need, it needed to be addressed, reconciled, toxic employees need to, needed to be cut right? They, you can't keep toxic employees around. Sometimes you just have to cut them. Otherwise, they're going to contribute again to the toxicity. Um, and you have to basically address all of these issues. But it takes time and effort. Um, but I believe in you and I think you can do it. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I have a whole lot of great content coming for you guys soon.